noise is a big issue in terms of public health, um, in terms of children's learning. Young children are sort of at our mercy. Um, we put them in certain, certain situations, we send them to daycare, we have them in our, you know, in our living room, and they're not usually con in control of their environment in the same way. Um, one of the things we've been learning is that noise is more distracting for young children than it is for adults. So in terms of children trying to learn language, the kinds of noise levels that wouldn't be a problem for adults are often very problematic for young children. Certainly as we have more electronics in the home, children are exposed to a lot more noise. Um, and it's not just toys. There are some homes where the TV is always on in the background or the radio is always on in the background. And these aren't things that our ancestors evolutionarily had to deal with. What we've been finding is that young children tend to do much better with the constant amplitude noise, whereas adults do better with the varying amplitude noise. So we've been studying not just children's ability to recognize words they already know, but also to learn new words. So in this study, there's a voice that's teaching the child two new words. And at the same time, there are other people talking in the background. It's a needle. Wow, it's a needle. Do you see it? A needle. What a nice needle. So here, the voice was trying to teach the child what a koopa is and what a needle is. And then to test whether the children learned, they see two objects, the koopa and the needle, and the voice tells them, find the needle. If they haven't managed to learn, they won't know which of those two objects is the right one to look at. If they've actually made the mapping between Koopa being this object and Nidok being this object, then when they hear, find the Nidok, they should know which one they should look at. We know that children across all ages have much more difficulty in noise than do adults. We don't know why. Most of our studies to date have been looking at how children what levels of noise children can handle, that, that tells us something about issues about daycare levels, daycare quality, um, but we haven't really been looking at why it is that children might have trouble in noise. And we think that part of it is actually not about their hearing ability, but really about their attention ability, that it's really connected to their ability to choose where they pay attention.